Advanced Combat Tracker is a program used by EverQuest 2 players to track their DPS, heals, and figure out boss fights. You can add triggers in ACT to break down fights and alert you of critical moments. To download Advanced Combat Tracker, Google Advanced Combat Tracker, go to Downloads, and select the Advanced Combat Tracker setup. This will give you an EXE that will go into your downloads folder. Once you have it, install and follow the prompts. Once you have it installed, you want to do the setup wizard. The setup wizard is set up for different games such as Final Fantasy XIV and EverQuest II. You want to pick the right game and hit next. It will ask you what game you're going to use it for if you have multiple plugins installed. You'll want to locate your EverQuest 2 folder for installation and select the top level folder. Once you've done that, it will ask you what log file you want to use. You'll need to go into the game and turn on the log file. You'll then hit next and leave auto version check on. create a trigger, select the sound you want it to make. You can either use a beep, your own WAV file, or text-to-speech option, which is the most commonly used. Enter what you want it to say, and then add a text that the boss will say or do or an emote that will appear in the chat on the game. You want to set the zone. If you're in a zone, it will automatically set. If you're not, you have nothing in there, it will add to general. And you can add in delays for your triggers. So if it does something and you want to wait five milliseconds before you cast, then you can get it to wait until that time. To get a trigger from somebody else, have them right click on the trigger copy the XML, have them paste the XML into the chat. Sometimes with full screen mode you will have problems seeing it and will have to go into windowed mode to actually be able to accept the trigger. During a fight the information will tabulate into the program. Information is then broken out into different sections by where it comes from and how it was received depending on the party that received it. After a fight, you can check the information that has been gathered and dissect a fight to figure out what you need to do, what you're missing, or how much damage you actually did. This will allow you to check healing and the damage you've taken. You can break down your stats and check individual attacks and abilities that were used to see what does the most damage and to see what you might be taking the most damage from depending on a boss. Sometimes the bosses use Mortal Coil will show as the top damage dealer after an unsuccessful wipe. This can be ignored and you should look under it for the rest of the information. The abilities that you find on the top of this damage list are the ones that you want to base your build around. These are going to be your highest damaging abilities these should be first in line for DPS and should be cast as many times as you can to get the most out of them. Tanks will want to use the Threat Out tab to get information on what the highest taunt abilities they have are. You might be surprised sometimes on what the results are. You'll notice here that Insidious Whisper, Blast Me, and Shadow Knight's Fervor do the most.
Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon. You'll get access to official A-game merchandise and special subscriber-only content when it becomes available. But the best thing you can do is share this video. Thanks.